Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be BSL Hasu League Group A round of 32 winners match game two. Might be the... I, I'm not sure they needed to play the best of three here, but I think they did play the best of three. And I'm just playing... Well, you know what? It'll all balance out in the end as far as things are going. As far as how the replays were handed off. And I'll get better as time goes on at uh, figuring out. I kind of just jumped into this realizing, oh, I got Hustle League replays. Let's go. And I got so excited that I didn't organize as well. This is retro, by the way. You got a natural expansion that's fairly wide. It's kind of your... I think they call it retro just because they kind of gave it a look of some of the old school maps, but they still have the standard mineral complements. You've got a base at the 12 o'clock location with uh, a ramp. You've got a cluster of minerals that never ends up being an issue here in the middle, but really it's a little bit smaller a map and there it's re fairly resource light actually. So you have kind of, you have your initial if you kind of look on the mini map. You've got the three clusters in each corner and beyond that nothing else. So you really need to get a move on and and starvation maps are very very possible. Um we're responding to Twitch chat. I did see the format. But uh we're just going to play this out. Because I'm not sure that the players knew the format. And this is going off what I think I saw in the bracket. I might be wrong, everybody. We're going to... Okay, I'm going to hold this up. I might be incorrect. This might end up actually be the loser's match right here. I'm fairly certain it's not. Because Sva automatically advanced to the winner's match. Uh, and I see a game listed as game two from the other side of it. But... Rough start, as usual, with Hasu League, <laughs> and we'll get it sorted out. So I have a feeling that what ended up happening is, is the winner's match ended up getting played as a best of three. Or this might actually be the final... You know what? This is potentially the final match is what's happening. However they end up labeled on YouTube, take that as correct, not what I actually said. How about that? We're going to roll it that way. And I'll figure it out after the fact. <clears throat> And this is my fault for being... I've got a... I got impulse problems is what it comes down to. I'm like, I want to cast some StarCraft. I'm excited to see it. And I don't bother doing my homework ahead of time and like getting it all sweated out. That's my personality deficiency that I need to work on, <laughs> which I'll work on right here. So trust what the title is on YouTube, not what I say overall. This might actually be the uh, final or loser's match overall because I just jumped into it. It was like, yeah, Hazard League replays. And just started casting what I had. So with that said... Hopefully I have a degree of, uh, of uh, what's the word, leniency overall. And let's talk about the game itself. We got Gateway, Ford Expansion, a Zealot making its way top right. Some Marines already pocketed, and once again a Ford Factory, but this in a more defensible situation to create a front door sea lock. I actually kind of like this action a little bit more overall. Zealot should end up yeah getting turned around the one thing the one disadvantage of the factory on the front like this is it does show your opponent that there is in fact a factory in play which gives them opportunity to respond looks like it wasn't going to be a nexus first build we do have a dragoon being produced and we have range typically i'm curious if this is going to turn into so additional yeah that zealot moving up to make sure that barracks is flashing and trying to get a look at how many Marines are out on the front. Unfortunately, Sva didn't pull back some of the Marines. If he had pulled back, just left a single Marine there and pulled the other Marines back, it would have been a harder read for Raj right there, as if he trying to create some chaos. But interestingly enough, at cross bond positions, Raj feeling comfortable enough where he wants to try to defend this with what he's got. So he's just still going to go one gate into expansion despite reading the rush. So once again, three SCVs pulled. We got something very similar to the previous match. And Sva attacking Caddy Corner. The Zealot's going to go ahead and pocket himself to the 12 o'clock location. The Probe going to spot this. Nice reaction. Doesn't get wiped out. But now that Nexus canceled. A shield battery dropped instead. A robotics facility and a gateway as well to follow. But this feels like it's too little too late. He's, he had all the information, thought he could defend at cross bond, and I think he's going to end up punished for it. We'll see. we got two Dragoons. Although Sva, if he just barrels in instead of grouping up these troops first... Okay, he is grouping them up. Three Dragoons now out. And moving in. And this one pylon, again, is powering a lot of this. 
So we'll see if we get some focus fire. Decent shield battery repair, which is making those dragoons. But now they've escaped. So Sva can go ahead and pull back, work on that pylon. We have a... Looks like he's working to build a bunker regardless behind this. And some nice job by Raj actually spreading this attack out. And the Zealot now sweeping in from the rear to work on that siege tank and actually might get it. So Raj actually defends. Solid defense overall and the SCV is all that's left interior to that bunker. So Sva over committing. Yeah, he didn't need to engage the Dragoons. Honestly, I'm not sure that he needed the bunker to follow this up. But Raj still floating uh, a huge amount of minerals behind this. He's going to go ahead and drop that Nexus. No Nexus as of yet for Sva. Looks like he's going to go ahead and crawl down and grab that. He needs to be somewhat careful, though. Because this is two, this is going to be three Dragoons and a Zealot with range to follow it up. An Observatory also to follow. And there's three Gate overall to be able to saturate that economy. So a few mines planted on the front with that Observatory to follow. This could get really, really dangerous for Sva very, very quickly. <clears throat> Down in Workers. Behind an economy. He's only got a single SCV on gas as well. So it looks like he mostly wants to try to rely on a Vulture defense. And instead, yeah, we got a defensive bunker being produced and some additional Marines being fielded to reseal that front. Second factory dropped as well. And a very quick third from Raj as well. Kind of like that play. Just going to say, okay, I stopped that. I know that took a big hit out of your macro. You have to play defensively versus me. So let me just go ahead and pump a massive amount of economy to make this work to my advantage. Right now he's at double the supply for Sfa. So Sfa... Single Vulture very quickly getting wiped out. And that's three mines that I think didn't get planted as well. He is able to detect the third Nexus. However, I don't think unless he drops a third and fourth... Unless he goes all in and drops a third and fourth factory right this second. Or maybe converts to a deep six or something like that. I don't think he's got an opportunity uh, to punish that. So he's just going to have to sit back, play very, very defensively. And that's going to be somewhat troublesome considering how many Dragoons are now making their way out and how light that Siege tank count is. Also, you'll notice that Siege is not complete. Vulture has managed to sneak itself to the south. However, there's Dragoons right there to engage, so not going to be able to get a lot else out of that. So not... Yeah, Rajan just firm control of this, although the Observer has not followed... Oh, never mind. The Observer's right there. Should be able to wipe out the mines to the front. Come on, Dragoons. Snap to it. Sees the SCV attempting to build a turret. Yeah, that turret's not even going to get completed. Siege just finishes, but this is... Yeah, he's going to have to go to the high ground. Two siege tanks up. Punishable, though. And Raj fumbling the engage a little bit there. Some nice mines behind this, clearing out the Dragoons. So, all Dragoons getting wiped out on the front. Nice defense from Sva. Very calm defense as well. Third base, however, is up and running. All Raj has to do is tack on a series of additional gateways. And he should be okay in this. Looks like Engineering Bay floating out as well. I think this is probably the final match. Uh, armory, top right, being constructed. And a third factory as well. So Sva, after that, just going to settle back. He's going to try to move towards three base play. I think he needs to go for maybe a... Uh, five factory plus one attempt from here. But unfortunately for him, Raj still has a massive economic lead. Some additional Dragoons moving out. Looks like they are going to be able to catch these Vultures. Three mines in that one as well. Not able to get out in the field. So Sva without a lot of map control. And this can turn into a soft contain from Raj. He's got an observer just checking out that three clock in case Fa was trying to sneak something here. And again, yeah, just in a much, much stronger situation. Although he hasn't dropped a lot of the gateways or tech to capitalize on... There he's dropping it. To capitalize on the superior economy. He could honestly grab a fourth if he wanted to. I don't think he needs to in this situation. Looks like we are seeing the move towards five factory. <clears throat> 
So I think it is going to be uh, five factory plus one. The question for Sva is, does he want to try to commit vultures out towards the front and try to sweep these bases? Maybe catch some dragoons and get some mines out on the field? Or is he just going to keep all of the vultures back to be part of the main push that comes as plus one weapons finishes? Defensive turrets. I actually kind of like the turrets before the factories in this instance to try to... Because this isn't for, for reaver defense anymore. This is to deny information. Um, oftentimes like that turret basically to get rid of the observer so that they don't know how many factories have been planted behind it. And we're seeing a six factory. Yeah, this is going to be a very heavy onslaught from Sva and it's going to be either success or failure. Although dropping a starport on top of it. So I'm curious if he's thinking about making it plus two, plus one. That's unusual. However, with six factories off two bases, usually it's more likely a plus one attack. A couple mines getting out in the field. Observer, nice observer movement though. To move, ooh, never mind. So I was saying nice observer movement instead taking some shots. Not able to get into the main. It looks like they're able to soften some of the Dragoons up. Not in time. So able to... Oop, got a Dragoon kill, but not going to get a lot else. Wasn't a huge Zealot... Or a Zealot. Huge Vulture compliment right there. And this is four factories that can pump the Vultures from here. But this isn't economically sustainable for... First of all, this is basically we're doing all this and you're most likely not going to see a third base. A lot of Siege Tanks now grouping up. So that's going to be the attack complement. The Dragoon's making their way back out. We have, it looks like it is Gateway Man from here. And we have a 50 supply lead as well. That should close a little bit off the six factories from Sva, but there still should be a economic lead for Raj overall. So the question will be the grouping. So plus one weapons finishes. Sva starting to move up. We do have a defensive shuttle for doing some drops. An observer making its way out to check the three o'clock. And Sva just kind of holding right here and spotting as though he's just establishing territory to maybe go for a third. And actually he might be doing just that because he's tacked on an additional armory. I'm a bit, this is uh, surprising to me to see the, the six factories into more of a defensive play. Usually you'll see a stick to four factories to play in between defensively rather than such a heavy dedication. But instead, Raj, feeling comfortable in, a posi in his position, just going to grab that base top left. Going to see a bunch of those siege tanks clumped up but not moving. And let's see if Sva just sits back and works with the six factories to play towards uh, plus two weapons, plus one armor. I guess that was the reason for the starport and the science facility overall. So it's... Sneaking out a little bit. The vultures are there to provide some support against any sort of bombs. Massive unsiege. And that does get spotted, and that's going to trigger the dragoons to get forward. So shuttle gets wiped out. The tank's immediately resieging. I don't know if I like this engagement for Raj. He, do he has a massive economic lead, but this is a pocket which allows siege tanks to get massive damage. However, it looks like there's just too much and the Zealots are able to get right on top of that forward siege tank line. But if you look at the supply differential, it is drastically reduced. And as I say that, it looks like it's just too much from Raj. He's going to be able to punch through this regardless. Just absolute... That was a gorilla fist maneuver right there from Raj. So he's got five Dragoons remaining. More siege tanks now taking the front. And I think that might have been a major misstep because that expended a lot more troops than it needed to. Still pressing forward. He's still got a 30 supply lead. Yeah, he just wants to end this right here, it looks like. So going to press in, go for that second siege tank. And he just has enough. He's just got enough supply to make it happen with what he has. This is a distance reinforcement point. But considering all he's dedicated, he really does need to get something out of this. The Dragoon's getting surrounded. Still a 40 supply lead, doing a great job of macroing. So complete army... Actually, I, I take it back. Raj will be okay, even with the army reset. I'm surprised he still dedicated that secondary attack, though. Because he, he got the initial reset he was looking for. 
again, back to double the supply, just out macroing swab. And that's also going to negate any sort of follow-up timing, a third machine shot being dropped, like a plus two, plus one, because it's just going to be a much smaller attack force to try to field. So Sva does need to get an SCV out to potentially make movements. It looks like Raj already preemptively expecting that. Vulture is checking out locations, to st I think spotting out to see whether there's an opportunity. Is he going to make his way to, to try to grab that 12 o'clock? Kind of sidling that direction. Raj repositioning the troops. Still a big supply lead for Raj. Fourth base is warping in, but not yet established. And we do have the makings of Arbiter Tech and Double Forge running behind this. Oh man, that's a lot of gateways. So full gateway complement. So this is definitely gateway man. Some vultures have managed to sneak top left. A massive amount of dragoons are making their way to go ahead and engage and shut that down. Whoop. Taking a few hits, it looks like this initial dragoon being sacrificed to go ahead and clear things up before that observer makes it in the forward field. Plus two weapons, plus one armor is there. But again, because of that early army clear, isn't going to be, uh, the timing isn't there any longer. So the, uh, the, the vultures getting pinned to that top left hand corner, they're going to get wiped out. And the probe's just in time going to transfer. Some more vultures starting to move out. So now Sva moving more towards that scan style, which is try to get some mines, create some chaos to provide some relief and see if that turns into anything. No, now he's following it up with the siege tanks. So the vultures a ways away. So I think initially masking as though, hey, yeah, this is going to be a vulture push, but he's left his siege tanks stranded and he needs to hope that the dragoons don't recognize that the siege tanks were moving behind this. Oh, he's moving into that dragoon line. Honestly, if they just turn an attack move with this remaining unsieged, this is going to be a lot of dead siege tanks once again without that protection. There's GG from Sva, yeah. Just didn't have enough. Presuming this was the final match, which I think it was in retrospective view. Sva is eliminated. Raj advances. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.